pretty cool to be a co-producer. <laughs> Jerry has always been one of my heroes. Certainly my main hero in the horn world, you know. I've always wanted to do a tribute to him anyway, and then Dan actually approached me and he said, hey, I'd like to do a tribute to Jerry Hay. And I said, well, thanks, I'm the perfect guy to do that. We did want to say thank you to him and show gratitude because uh, his influence was so strong in pop music and such a huge part of what got my blood boiling and what really got me, you know, uh, inspired. So we kicked around a few ideas and uh, I just went in there one day and closed my eyes and started thinking up cool horn stuff. Assembled it into a uh, piece of music that I, uh, that I think everybody's gonna really love and that I certainly hope uh, honors Jerry because he's certainly deserving of that. Wayne Bergeron, Andy Martin, uh, Eric Marienthal, and Sal Lozano. And we recorded that over six hours, the one piece. So an hour a minute of music. <laughs> Everybody was in there of a like mind going, okay, this this has got to be, you know, we know what we're doing here and why we're doing it. And so let's get it, you know, from, from that place in the heart. You know. Let's try it together. One, two, mm. Now the first half, that's better for me, for me now. One, two, three, four. together in a tune, in a, in a tune, hey thanks, is genius. It's got a Jerry Hay flavor, but it doesn't sound like Jerry Hay, it sounds like Walter Minko, and which is, uh, it is really difficult to achieve, I think, because like you said, it doesn't sound like a ripoff, yet the flavor is all there. Hell yes. You happy? Hell yes. All right, let's try the end of four. No. Yes. It really is a, a, a big time example of what we've been doing for the last 35 years. It really is. And it, it shows, and yet it's not, it's, it doesn't leave you, and oh, it was written that way for technical reasons. It's got a musical purpose. And, you know, and that's what... We Jerry weren't feeling that when we played it. <laughs> <laughs> like we were thinking technical. We were like, holy shit, what has he done now? <laughs> <laughs> Wally loves trumpet, and he ain't afraid to write for it. Well, that's really weird. It is, yeah. Uh, those sessions were, were really, it was tough. And uh, we we worked we worked hard. Did I get it? Yes. Hey, well, what's that? You know what? Do oh, that, that, that. Just hit zombies. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure I can play it that way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't either. I mean, I'm just kind of trying getting through it the way I can to make it smooth. The beat, the end of one is do it, right? Yeah, that's good. Downbeat of three is do it. One of the comments heard in the room by someone. They actually said it was the most challenging horn section, uh, uh, horn recording session they've ever been on. Shoot. It's almost impossible to tongue every eighth. I want a triplet on the down meter three to make this work for me and it's not there. Oh, it's hard. No worries. Oh, get a cramp. One more time. One more time. Good here. <laughs> <laughs> the music wasn't just hard. It, it, it had a huge musical payoff. I mean, we knew that what we were going to get, if we could get it, was going to be really great, you know. What? That wasn't it? Hopefully we did that, and uh, hopefully the tune honors Jerry appropriately.